if you leave your country and you don't fulfill the dream that pushed you out hello beautiful people welcome back to the canada info channel my name is wolo i am a regulated canadian immigration consultant i am based in new brunswick canada i used to be in manitoba still in manitoba love manitoba <laughs> Anyway, um, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And to my old subscribers, thank you so much for um, still coming to this channel to watch my videos. I know that I am not consistent, but I am trying. It's not easy. Eshe, thank you. Anyway, let me not waste so much time. So it's been eight years since I landed in Canada. And how time flies. Eight years. Like. Eight years, 2016, August 30th, we left Nigeria. Um, and I am um, just remembering how that day went. We quickly rushed to the airport. Our flight was a Lufthansa flight. From Lagos to Frankfurt, the flight was okay. And then in Frankfurt, we had a seven hours layover. Um, so we were just at the airport in Frankfurt, doing nothing, very hungry and all of that. And then... When it was time to board from Frankfurt to Montreal, um, we were surprised at the boarding gate that they had upgraded our ticket. My spouse's, my me and my spouse's ticket, it was upgraded from um, economy to first class. <laughs> that was the first um, testimony we were having, you know, coming into Canada as permanent residents. So. I mean, first time flying first class when you're entering Canada. Of course, you should know what it is like now. <laughs> we were shocked. You know, we got into first class. It was a nice flight. We were able to sleep well, take all the food, do all sorts and all of that. Anyway, let me not bore you with my stories. Anyway, long as long as short of it is that. Okay, I, could, I can remember that uh, our flight was delayed. Yes, it was delayed for another two hours in frankfurt so they upgraded our tickets to first class and then we flew into montreal and by the time we did all the landing formalities we missed our flight from montreal to winnipeg that day so we had to spend the night in a hotel they gave us a hotel which was for free um so we officially landed in canada on the 31st of august 2016 so it's been an eight years journey and um this eight years it's been a mixture of all sorts so typically for an immigrant you have the excitement of coming and then you have the reality checks when you when the bill starts hitting you boost bass boost <laughs> you start asking yourself question what is all this <laughs> so the reality checks came in and then the period of adjustment and then the period of acceptance so we went through all that cycle for me personally, um, for my career, I was very, like, I was two steps ahead. I was, I'd already started applying for jobs before I even landed. So I was able to land a job two weeks before I came. But I need to mention that the initial plan was for my husband to accompany me to come settle in. And then he would go back to his job. But along the line, um, he didn't go back. So he didn't even resign from his job. After some months here, he had to send in his resignation. So um the journey was not that easy and when we left nigeria it was not like we 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 were suffering <laughs> when we left nigeria i mean we were balling we were ballers in nigeria you can imagine i was working in total total emp as a contract staff my husband was working with shell as a contract staff you can imagine now oil money balling balling <laughs> please ignore my 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 goofy self okay so we're balling in nigeria and i mean at that point in time you'll be wondering what are these people coming to do in canada like in t as far back as 2016 if i tell you how much we were earning combined like combined salary between me and my husband i mean we had no reason absolutely no reason to leave like i said i was the one that was coming in to settle in my husband was just accompanying me but somehow along the line he just decided to stay back and typically for most immigrants that's what happens the woman comes in with the children the husband always shuttle and that's what he wanted to do but he changed his mind and said uh, no he didn't want the life of shuttling because the journey has not been easy i won't say it's been easy because um 
like every immigrant that comes, you have your ups and downs, you have your highs, you have your lows. And I just want to use this opportunity to encourage those of you who are in Canada, you're wondering how you're going to get your status, you're wondering with changing immigration rules, what's going to happen, please don't worry. I would encourage you, don't worry, this season of uncertainty will soon be over. You will get your PR status by God's grace and um, your period of um, ups will come up. I know some people are down this period. There are lots of people who are depressed. There are some people who have lost their status. I just want to encourage you that this trying period or this trying phase will pass. For us, we had our moment of highs and lows and um, we have come to the period of acceptance and I would say God has been faithful. God has truly, truly been faithful. And I want to say that in my eight years of living in Canada, one thing I am very 100% certain and sure of is if you are determined to go back into your line of career, especially if, you, if you're a career person that came into Canada, if you are very determined to go back into your line of career, it's possible to go back into that line. It is possible to overtake. It is possible to land your dream job. It is possible to even get a higher position in that dream job. If let's say you were a manager, a bank manager in Nigeria, and you came in and you're wondering how do you get back to being a bank manager, just believe in yourself. It is possible to get back into being a bank manager in Canada. So yeah, so that's my word of encouragement. I also want to share a friend's um, story of how he was able to, you know, achieve his dreams. You know, he, funny enough, we were colleagues back in Nigeria. Um, he left Nigeria before we did. He came into Canada one year before we did. And he was an accountant in Nigeria. He came, he had already started his accounting CPA courses. He was even at the last phase of getting his CPA as a qualified accountant in Canada. He had a fantastic job. And then all of a sudden he just said um, he wanted to fulfill the dream which he had always had from childhood. And that was actually pursuing medicine. And I was wondering how this guy was going to do this. Funny enough, even at that time, I would like to you, myself, I was thinking of doing medicine. <laughs> Anyway, so he, I, I hope he doesn't see this video anyway. So he started chasing medicine and I can tell you for a fact that today he has achieved that dream of being a medical doctor in Canada. I mean, and this guy is not a young person. He started pursuing his dream to be a medical doctor. If I want to guess his age as at when he started, maybe around 42 and he has now achieved his dream as a medical doctor in Canada. So Canada is a land that um, you can fulfill your dreams. If you believe in yourself, if you strongly believe in yourself, you can fulfill your dreams. Just don't look at all the noise going on. All this noise, they are just noise. Close your ears from the noise and focus on or achieving that which you have desired to achieve in Canada. So, um, let me not make this video too long. I feel sad for what is going on in Nigeria. We were regretting that we left. We had every reason to return back, you know, but we had, you know, cut the rope. <laughs> the rope that would have taken us back, we had cut it. I am sad that a lot of dreams are being, I mean, held to ransom. That's the word I'll use. A lot of dreams in Nigeria, a lot of careers, a lot of dreams are being held to ransom in Nigeria. Yes, Nigeria is a fantastic land. Some people are making it. I'm not saying things are that bad for everybody, no. But when almost 80% or 70% of the people are complaining about life, about how things are expensive, it gets to me. I like to see myself among the masses, not amongst people who, don't, who are not bothered about um, the things that are going on. So, yeah, I mean, if your career or your life is being held to ransom in Nigeria, please find a way to get out. We left when we were very comfortable, like we were very comfortable in Nigeria. We had our own assets, our own property, everything in Nigeria, but we left. So, I mean, if it is time for you to leave, do not waste your time second-guessing things. Just 
make the effort and leave. I know it's not easy. Canada is not the only destination you should be looking at. There are other places you can go to. But the bottom line of this message is that wherever you go to, make sure that you fulfill that dream that pushed you out of your country. If you leave your country and you don't fulfill the dream that pushed you out, there is as good as not leaving. You should have just remained behind. I also want to use this opportunity to encourage those who are who are not yet settled in Canada. You're doing one or two jobs just to make ends meet, just to pay the bills. Please do not settle. Do not settle for those jobs because they will just tie you down. Find a way to get back into your career. Find a way to do the things that you love. The, the, I mean, Canada is a country where age is not a barrier. If you, I just gave it a story of somebody who started studying medicine at age of 42 or 43, and the guy is now a medical doctor. So age is not a barrier in Canada. If you want to fulfill your dreams in Canada, please go ahead and fulfill your dreams. Do not settle for those menial jobs. If you are in a company where you feel that you can perform at the managerial level and you are not yet at the managerial level, do everything that you can within the books that will show your managerial skills, your leadership skills, and upgrade yourself and try as much as possible to push yourself beyond the status quo. Yeah. So this is the information I said I was going to share. It's not an immigration information. It's just my journey in Canada. Anyway, if you like this... Stay tuned and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.